ale house. This must be it. Sigurd's not here. I'll ask around. <laughs> These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife? You are not welcome here. I've... I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that up then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your br the soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. Which way did my mm. I'm asking. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a... You're risking your life, and I'm the one who'll take it. Oh, my. All I know is they jumped through the window. Guards! Help! Help! Squeeze me! Go on! Help! Help! Smells like a fish house. Good spot to hide. Alan was Sahalan, Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Wise on nerve, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with merchant soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Aver, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned the Lady Edwin, who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of- Edwin vows revenge on the Danes, who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely command- Have faith, Eivor. Of your gods. All men and women, this is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. Not if we act so. If Giedrich. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead. Always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible. Hey, come here! Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife! Stay your blades! This traitor Giedrich will face trial. As will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin. Calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich. Lapdog of the... You'll sell us out to Wessex. Lady, there is no need for slaughter. We all want peace for oxen for... You heathenish fork-tongued... Lady, choose your next... Lay down your arms. Free my friend here. Sickert, are you cracked? And you can kiss my r I've done with this awful. I leave them What kind of a did you get yourself into? Don't try me! I can still fire these bastards! Will 
some minutes. Oh. Damn it to hell. The happy escaped. I was desperate to fight. Giedrich, well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. Prophecy. No time to squabble. And she has her way. Tanned you. And what of the. I did, I. Where Talk is with she? Thane Holt will know. Tell us where. Southwest. Bath him. Off again, Aver. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Bassam spoke of? An ally, Aver. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Aver. My heart's alight with the fuel of battlefire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened shin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felled tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales you siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet ex- <laughs> They're holding the trial just ahead. My blade is thirsty, friends. Shall we roll in like three barrels of fire? No. We must be careful. Do not let the executioner swing his axe. <gasps> this place is heavily guarded. They're about to execute the prisoners. Gidrich, send me to find you. Let's go now.
Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He's safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke? However deranged she might be, my brother wishes to meet her. The sooner you make this happen, the swifter this war will end. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. Sigurd, do you can speak. We risk the trust. I hope. We have a... We... Bring this news to Giedrich. Every man... She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well, oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Giedrich. Eivor. Every single one. They've set out to race. We'll need every pack and, and you and your brother. I like your bluntness, Keith. Edwin's plopped her. Where is your brother? They contain. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll move towards. Is there anything? I ah, there's a notion. You could ship. We stole. That I can do. When you're ready. Or do we get? And here's Eivor. Ah, you timed things well. The holy woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I've already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from Nave to Crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray your... your trust in me. I'll fight with you. Of course he is. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman fool. Oh, the mad heretic. Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometan. Choose, Friar. Stand aside or fight. If we must come to blows, my lord will protect me. And my reward shall be assured. Hey! <laughs> Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts. 
The instruments of the children of Sackless the Fool? Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. Were you so full of heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and France. Come with me, Ava. Across Germania. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The language is unknown and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all? Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering gods let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. Ava, where are you going? What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you? For breaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, the Wielderpath, the demiurge of many names. A lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end.
be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Brother Paul! Are you here? Ransacked from floor to roof. Bassam, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked Paul to hide it well. But I do not know where. Is this him? Your acolyte, Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God, in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! Patience, brother. We will find this stone, wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone, for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Giedrich our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! No! Cut them down! Leave none alive! Avon, are you mad? Edwin flees. We had our chance! Aver, you mock-minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one view, Bessem. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. 
Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Gidrich. It was your plan all along? Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we moved as one. As family. As kin. I have always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You fought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. Okay. For that is where you will. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new author. Here's more than enough coin, friend. Boy, Jesus, you're a better customer than your needling partner. We can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. They will attack on sight here. What was that? My howl. <laughs> the soldiers are close. That overhanging branch is a good vantage for a first strike. The 
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? I don't know. I want to deny it, but I... I... I've seen things in my life. Visions. Prophecies. It's difficult to explain. Heed your visions. Always. You may have been touched by true knowledge. Sigurd is only a man. The son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god. In ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. Inches of arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man. Giedrich. Eivor, have you dealt Edwin? I have. Excellent. Mom Why is that? On account of Eid, a sprinkle to keep the men up. By my... And I say we fight! Now! You're a good... It, it is. And have you laid your poles of hazel and... I'm here to... Go on, then. Still dream? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. Visions. I'll sacrifice to tear this day. The Lord of Justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? We are ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. Let's end this before that... You felled the lofty lady. 
Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to Eivor bested you. You fought with honor and purpose. For that, I put you in Gidrich's care. You will see you're treated well. I will, so long as you recant your friendship with that. Agreed. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. I will. I'd be quick about plunging. of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around, for who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before, with Sigurd, in a dream. Not once, a thousand times. A thousand? What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come! King Alfred of Wessex! Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not till your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can serve as a... Please, no. no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfric! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl. I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred. Wait. Hmm. 
Paladin Fulke, are you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I've got you, troll woman! Kush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith. For the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must. But treat him with care. All the gods bless him. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. Hey, my love. Brandy, our work is done in a... I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there, on the table. Full case with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Bessem and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage. Captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Giedrich. Giedrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. I want to see... He had to in the oh, I am Building a boat. And what a, a brigade now.
place. I can out drink it all up. That's all I could find. Come on, boy. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Eli, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the... I'll be at your side when the... the venerable... Rodri... Sounds like... Rodri, wait. Who speaks? The last L... Until... We... I find the... Eva will toughen you up, but watch your back. He's a wily one. It is always the same with me, boy. <laughs> As future elderman... Rod... You met him. Met him... It may be... I'd like you... Give us your... A for... Excellent. It's not far. Just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks. Hey, Eivor! I am usually the one who wanders off! It annoys the shit out of me when you don't listen. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Eva. What has become of your preening brother? Ah, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Our Bishop Dealarv and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they're all so hard and cold. Yet within is warmth. The Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealarv, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain cowards, stole of you! Captain O'Neill. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlove. The king's brother. The is... you. I know your face, your state. Ah, you did. Hold, both of you. Now's not the time for keep. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this. On that, we. Now, now. You know my. He is. I will. Husband. Fur. First. Husband. Enough. I do not... It may be... I have a he... You are wasting time! His talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be elderly. Have you made progress? The giving of silver is more difficult than I imagined. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiliad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with... Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. You are with Rodri, yes? I am that. Anir ap Kadvar. Tell me. So he consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Hmm. Yes, I might amend my advice to... You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will become available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. Oh, I have no so far, I'm having some serious to keep most of the 
Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes... No! Enough of this nonsense! You are Guria, don't So I am. And a bruised paw. How do you stand with... My brother loves me well. Yet... What if you had... At the crown. I make no promises. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shirovshire. And never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see about... Eivor, my friend. I asked around as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Your silver is in the hands of one who wants it most. Now pray to your god, it does some good. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, no! Now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! This is... Fill your brains! Perfect point! Ivar! What have you done? Ah, now that is Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good... Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! is done. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying of the... You nearly got Chailbert killed, you boneless flap of leather. Ah. The diplomat speaks what she really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar, and I'll send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next move. They will retreat, then we starve them out. Dear God, more death. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. Well, for food and supplies, they stop. Rodri had... Rodri's... Indeed. You do not need... I know your... I am his regular... I shall go with you. If only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I'll meet you both at Westbury then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try...